uh, I don't have a lot of big lesson to share with you guys, really. Uh, so I would just kind of like to tell you my story. And from there, if you can pick up anything that you can learn from, then great. You know, living in the village, I also didn't kind of think that I could do any more than what my family have done. My uncles, they deliver newspaper, and my aunt work in the factory sewing clothes. I only have a high school certificate. So I went there and I begged and I begged. I cried and then I promised that I will be the hardest working worker you will ever seen. And you know, men, they can't take when women is crying. So I got the job. <sighs> Then I decided that because I have this idea of bringing the karaoke box to Finland, that I would study hospitality management. I got the best business plan awarded by housing in Urit there, just by polishing that every time when I was in the class, because I had my own agenda why I want to learn that subject. Which, by the way, when you have a business idea, talk to somebody. Don't think that people were going to copy your idea because they want. And only by talking to them, you know you get to challenge back to your own view, you get to better the idea. Go to banks, knock, knock. I need 800,000 to build this. Can you loan me this money? Bonk. And then another time, and then another time, and then another time. I prove one thing to the investor that I am willing to give up everything that I have for this. And that is how serious I am. The Huone Events Hotel, the world first events hotel, was ready. It was beautiful. But nobody knows about it. Things got worse. Three months into running the place, I got pregnant, which, by the way, is highly not recommended. <laughs> and then Yusuf's reaction was brilliant. He paused for one second, and then he said, Damn, that is Pikuyolu season. <laughs> Could not pay salary is probably my worst nightmare because I know that my team have worked so hard with us. Sue us to bankruptcy. Sometimes life is very, very funny. When you hit bottom, there's only one way to go. Up. But today, Huana has been three years old, and we have hosted more than 3,000 events and won five awards. And just three months ago, we expanded Huone three times in size. And the reason why I have been traveling to Singapore so much is also because we are opening one in Singapore. So, if... If I can do it, coming from nothing, every one of you here can do it, if not better. When you become an entrepreneur, remember why you want to become an entrepreneur. If it's because of money, stop right now. Because uh, it will not take you very far if it was because of money. But I force my uh, shareholders to sign a clause in the shareholder agreement that says 5% of our uh, profit go directly to charity and they are not very happy about that but they still had to sign it. <laughs>